Hi, Sean from Phil and John's Vintage Model Radio Museum back with another example of a galloping ghost rig. This particular one features the Rand LR3. This was a superb actuator. It virtually guaranteed success if you wanted to go down the galloping ghost path for getting a form of proportional control. The cams on it gave rudder and elevator at the rear. These were proportional controls and the cam at the front is for progressive throttle. The receiver is a super regenerative McGregor relay. Battery requirement there, 9 volt for the receiver and the centre tap to 4.8 volt for the RAND. It needed the centre tap so it could be driven both ways easily. And there we go, a vintage Taipan unrun 2.5 engine to represent the throttle action. Just before we activate the system, um, what I'd like to do is just let you hear what actually goes on with Galloping Ghost. So, a good old wave meter again. Turn on the speaker. And there we go. And you can actually see on the meter, there's the deflection. Now then, you can hear the increase in the rate and the reduction in it. This is what gave you the elevator control. The variation in the pulse width, which is harder to hear, is what controls the rudder and no signal, full signal, no signal, full signal. This is what moves the progressive action of the throttle control. So back to the rig, power it on. And there you go. Now again, one small point, um, people did connect these up incorrectly. The, that action, very high speed pulsing, is for down elevator. Slow is up, so if you have a look you can see down, up, right, left, and then throttle. One feature of this actuator and system indeed is if you turn the transmitter off, you see a throttle fail safe. There we go. That was a nice benefit of the system. So if I look at the back end, you can see there, flapping around neutral. And I'll just put down elevator because it makes it easy to see the action of the rudder. So there you can see it's following the stick movement proportionally. And the average of the flap is the path it takes. And look at the elevator, it's a bit harder to see. That's down elevator, high speed flapping. And then slower pulsing allows the elevator to come up which gives you more movement in that direction and this gives enough action so there we have it that's the RAND LR3 galloping ghost system again run by the McGregor transmitter there is just another example of a an early British transmitter here this was the fleet and fleet made a number of variants of this the, the they, uh, they went differently to a number of other manufacturers in the fact that they used two separate sticks. This was hoped that it would attract reed flyers. Uh, people were used to using separate switches. Uh, the trims were on the side. and These were okay until you opened it up and these were wired in separately. You had to open it to replace the batteries. And there was always the possibility of fracturing them. But the, the, the product was developed and moved on. And, uh, and it came in a number of variants. In fact, they were one of the first... UK manufacturers that offered a complete brick type installation which had the receiver and a rand all fitted on to a single plate for ease of mounting. As we've explained before, equipment was expensive and there was a need to be able to easily transport it from model to model. Thank you.